Hey everybody and welcome to today's video with myself, Sarah Lean. In today's video, I want to take you through the Azure DevOps repo features and functionality and really explain what that part of Azure DevOps is. So let's get started. So what is Azure DevOps repos? Simply put, it allows you to store your Git repositories. It allows you to store your files, your code and manage that code and ultimately lifecycle and policies around that code. Now, if we dive in to Azure DevOps, we can show a bit more of Azure DevOps repos in detail. So let's dive over there. So here we are inside Azure DevOps and I have a project already set up with a bunch of code and history around all of that. Now within the repo section, I have a couple of menus. Now the first one I want to explore is files. In here, I can see the files that are stored there. I can preview these files. I could even edit them from here, make changes and then make a pull request. Now, while it might be tempting to make a change here, it's not necessarily best practice, especially since I am in the main branch or my default production branch. So best practice isn't to push straight into there. It's maybe using another branch beforehand and then pushing into that production branch. What we can also do here though with Azure DevOps repos is put in some policies to avoid us accidentally or going against our, our methodology or processes around that main branch. So if we click on the branches section, we can set some policies to avoid making changes to our production or main branch accidentally. We can set branch policies here. So on things such as how many reviewers we need before a pull request can be accepted into this main branch. We can say whether we need a work item linked or not to each pull request. We can also specify that comments have to be resolved before you can push something in to our main branch. We could even build in build validation to make sure we aren't approving broken code into our main branch. Now, if you are a reviewer of code, what we can do is head on over into the pull request section and view them from there. We can see the files, we can see the updates, we can even see the commits. Now, within the comments section, what we have is a rich text editor available to us. We can specify some feedback to the person that's made the pull request. We can make some changes. We can justify why we're uh, approving this pull request or even why we're not approving this pull request. We have the ability here to add markdown into these comments if we wanted to. And we could even add in some kind of emojis or links to documentation externally as well. So within the commits menu, we can view the history of the branch. We can have this graphical view of what's been happening and where all of the pulls and pushes have come from. Within the pushes section, we can see what's happening again in this branch. We can see where the pushes are happening and what the history is. And then within the tag section, we can track things that are happening to the code repository. We've used a version as a tag here, but you could use anything that makes sense to your process and your code and your department as well. Thank you so much for tuning in today, folks. Hopefully this video has guided you through and given you an overview of what Azure DevOps repos is and the power and some of the functionality available to you. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please do smash that like button. It really does help me. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and hopefully we'll catch you in another video, folks.